video, we're going to see how do we do apportionment using Hamilton's method. For this scenario, we're going to pretend that we have 42 cell phone towers that need to be, need to be divided proportionately between the four regions in account, the north, south, east, and west regions. And saying that the cell phone towers are going to be divided proportionately means that the regions with more people need more cell phone towers. To do this, we're going to start by finding our total population using the equals SUM parenthesis, so equals sum function, where we do equals sum parenthesis, highlight all of your population, close parenthesis, enter. So this tells us that we have 44,700 people in this county. To find the standard divisor, we take our total population and divide it by the number of cell phone towers we have. So we're going to take the 44,700 divided by 42. The standard divisor tells us that for every 1,064 people, there should be one cell phone tower. So each tower is going to service a little over 1,000 people. To find the standard quota for each region, we take each region's population and divide it by the standard divisor. And I'm going to use cell references for this so that I only have to type the formula in once and then I can drag it down and let Excel do the formula repeatedly. So to do the cell references, I'm going to hit equals and then click on the cell that has my north population divided by and then click on the cell that has the standard divisor number. But after you click on standard divisor, hit F4 on your keyboard to lock in that cell because for all of these fractions, we want the denominator to be that same standard divisor number. And if we do not lock it in by hitting the F4 button on our keyboard that adds the dollar signs, uh, when we drag down, Excel will change the cell reference and give us incorrect values. So we're gonna do equals, click on your first region, divided by, click on your standard divisor, and then hit, hit F4 to lock in the standard divisor number. Then hit enter. So that tells us that the north region should have 9.7 or 9.27, 9.28 cell phone towers, which we know they cannot have a partial cell phone tower. You cannot cut a cell phone tower in half. So that's going to present a little bit of a problem. But let's drag that formula down by clicking on the cell and then hovering over the bottom right hand corner and then dragging down so that we get the standard quota for all regions. So we can see all of these regions should have a fractional number of cell phone towers, which cannot happen in the real world. So for Hamilton's method, we have a workaround. We start by finding the minimum quota for each region, and I'm going to let Excel do the work for this. I'm gonna do equals round down parenthesis. So I'm using the round down function in Excel, which will take each number and round it down. I'm going to go click on the standard quota for north and then comma zero which says round this number down to the nearest integer. And it's going to be to the nearest integer because I told it to do zero decimal places. So I'm going to round my standard quota down to the nearest integer. And then I'm going to click on that formula and drag it down so it rounds all of them down for me. And if we sum, so if we equal sum our minimum quotas, we will see that that only apportions 40 of our 42 cell phone towers. So what Hamilton's method says is to look at your standard quota and pick the regions with the largest decimals. So since we have 40 towers apportioned and we need 42, that means we need two more towers. So we need to pick the two biggest decimals. So those will be east with a decimal of 0.7752 and west with a decimal of 0.63087. So that Hamilton said to give each of those regions an extra seat and then the rest of them get their minimum quota. So I'm going to give the two regions with the largest decimals an extra seat. So east gets bumped up to 15 and west gets bumped up to 10 and then the rest of the regions get their minimum quota. And now if I sum the Hamilton method values, it should sum to 42. So we have apportioned out all 42 cell phone towers.